Mimir is a quiz competition for individuals created by Alan Urian, the chair of the Merseyside Quiz Leagues in the 1970s, with the first MQL Mimir competition being held in 1976. Since then, the format has spread to other leagues and now into online competitions. There are four players. Whether playing physically or online, each player is allocated to a seat. In each round, each player is asked three questions in turn. The player has 30 seconds in which to answer or pass. If they answer correctly, they receive a point. If they answer incorrectly, the question is offered as a bonus and the other players have a chance of taking the point. A bonus is offered to the other players in order of who has made the fewest bonus attempts. So in this example, if player 1 gets their question wrong, player 3 will be offered the bonus attempt first. If more than one player has made the same number of bonus attempts, then the player who is first in line after the question recipient based on their seat order gets the first attempt. So in this example, if player 3 either answers their bonus attempt incorrectly or declines to guess, player 2 would have the next bonus attempt based on their seat position, and last in line is player 4. Players don't have to make a bonus attempt, but if they do offer an answer, a bonus attempt is recorded against their name whether they're correct or not. The winner of the quiz is the person who has given the most correct answers. If scores are tied, a tiebreaker is usually played to decide the winner. In most cases, a three-question playoff in which both players answer the same questions is played. If a playoff round or multiple playoff rounds can't separate the players, a numerical nearest the pin question is usually asked to determine the winner. Matches are normally played over five rounds of questions, however some variants, such as the All Things Quiz Sabotage Mimir, are played over a different number of rounds. Each question is one of a set of four questions on the same topic. These sets of four questions are known as quads. Over the course of the match, all players will receive one question from each quad. Quads can be constructed so that all questions are pitched at the same level, or there can be a graduated level of difficulty within a quad. Over the course of a match, players will receive question sets that are balanced in their overall difficulty. So while in one quad you may receive the hardest question, in another quad you may receive the easiest question. And overall, each player will receive the same number of easy, easy medium, medium hard, and hard questions. Read the game. You need to quickly gauge the quads and how the other players are doing on them compared to you. Is it a hard quad that you're strong on and the others weak? There's no point saving bonus attempts for those as they'll probably come to you anyway. The player who is being asked a question has a degree of control over the gameplay. If they know that they do not know an answer, a quick guess or a quick pass can deny their opponent's thinking time and minimise the chances of a bonus pickup by one of the other players. Guessing incorrectly adds to your bonus attempts and could result in you not being passed a bonus that you are certain on. Games can swing on such judgement calls, so it's unwise to make wild guesses early in a game. Clearly there's no dilemma if you're offered a bonus attempt on a question that you know the answer to, but what if you're 80% sure, have a 50-50, or could fire off a Hail Mary guess? Equally, it's no use having bonus attempts to spare in the final round if your opponents don't pass you anything you know. Your strength as a quizzer, your opponents, the quads, and the round that you're in can all influence your play. There are any number of tactical profiles, but common ones include The Predator. Unless she cannot make an intelligent guess at all, she will back herself to be correct more often than not. She will amass her bonus points from the sheer volume of guesses she makes, and will hope that puts her in a strong position. But if she's behind in the final round, she might not get an opportunity to fight back. The Hoarder. He wants to make every bonus attempt count, so will only take a bonus when he is confident. He hopes to hoover up the bonuses in the closing stage of the game, but can come unstuck if few bonuses are available or if they're in his weak quads. The Accelerator. She starts cautiously as she assesses the quads and her opposition. By the third round she is guessing more freely, but not recklessly, hoping that by the final round she'll be in a position to pick up some more bonuses. The Pragmatist. He tailors his approach to the match situation, but is prepared to be aggressive if he knows he is against tough opposition but he won't be reckless. If others have guessed and have eliminated options, he's prepared to guess knowing it won't worsen his position. You can play Mimir in a number of physical leagues, such as the Merseyside Quiz Leagues, where it started, or the Quiz League of London, which has Brain of London and Brain of London 2. A variant of Mimir is also played in the Brain of Dublin. Online, you can play at Mimir's Well, 
the Online Quiz League and Online Quiz League USA. If you know of any other Mimir competitions, then please make a comment below and we will add it to the description. And if you want to play the All Things Quiz Sabotage Mimir, join our Facebook group and look out for contestant calls.